What's up guys? Today I wanted to rant a little bit about coffee and more specifically Starbucks. But more on that a little bit later on. So I'm a proud non-coffee drinking American and I know. I know. I'm an adult. I should probably be drinking coffee. Or at least that's what everyone tells me, which is pretty annoying. But um, the frustrating thing is I'm judged and stigmatized because I don't drink it. You know, like uh, the fact that I don't have coffee in the morning blows people's minds. And that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, because I know for a fact 90% of people growing up did not like the taste of it. In fact, they hated it. You have, to, you have to train yourself to like it, continuously drinking it. That's what everyone's told me, is that, yeah, it's bitter, but they liked the, uh, I don't know, made them feel more grown up, or they liked the caffeine spike, energy boost. Who knows what the fuck it was. But anyways, no one really starts off liking it. You just have to train yourself into it because you feel like that's what you're supposed to do. Now, the reason I'm ranting about this is there's been two recent instances which has just just made me realize that this coffee drinking and caffeine addiction is completely rampant and out of control in America. The first one being I was on vacation recently. I uh, went to a family gathering at the beach and uh, just kind of hanging out on the couch. My family was all around me. I was talking to one of my cousins. He's a lot younger than me, uh, probably 13 or so. And somehow we started talking about coffee, ice cream. And then everyone became aware that I hated coffee, and I got judged, which is fine, whatever, used to it. But I looked over at my 13-year-old cousin, and he said he wanted some. And I was like, what do you mean? And he, he tells me that he loves the taste of coffee. I just, what? Why? And he's, he's telling me, that, you know, he wakes up every day, has a cup of coffee before school. And just, like, fucking stop right there. What, what do 13-year-olds need coffee for? Fucking drawing shapes and watching YouTube videos all day. Coffee is supposed to be something, if you're going to drink it, is you're groggy in the morning and you need to get to work. You need to look at, like, fucking data or deal with people all day. And if you're already at that stage and you go the day without drinking it, then you'll get a splitting headache. Like, I've literally had coworkers be able to go home because of a caffeine withdrawal migraine. And that's just absurd. How do you let yourself get to the level where you're so fucking dependent on something that you, you, you cannot function without it? And how is this okay? It's infuriating that it's just like oh yeah I guess you know you didn't have your coffee why don't you why don't you go home go go to bed and sleep it off just fucking no that's that's not professional that shouldn't be allowed that should be termination or you just fucking suffer through it like a goddamn adult like take responsibility for your actions uh, yeah and so my cousin was telling me the 13 year old that a lot of his friends drink coffee. And it's just, just what, how did this happen? These, these kids are all not old enough to really fucking do anything. They're just in school sitting there for eight hours. And why? Why is this happening? And he has a little brother that's 11 that, thank God, doesn't drink it every day, but he started to. Like, if a, a pot of coffee is made... 90% of the people in the room are going to be like, oh yeah, let me have some. But you know what? That's the fucking stupid thing, is nobody likes the taste of coffee. 
out of all the people that want coffee in the room, how many of them are going to leave it black? Fucking no one. And uh, that's another thing. So the second instance has turned me off drinking it. And, you know, really strengthened my resolve to not drink it is I used to work at a hospital. And I'm not really exaggerating when I say this, but Starbucks was in a massive ordeal at this hospital. So it was a smaller hospital. Um, at the most, at one single time, there's probably 30 employees or so working. And that's, that's, that's where it gets a little interesting. So every single day, someone would chime in with, oh, I'm feeling so tired today. I should probably get some coffee. And then some other person's like, oh, yeah, I could use some coffee. And then before you know it, five or so people are like, oh, yeah, coffee, 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 coffee. And someone will pipe up, well, I guess we need to make a Starbucks run. So that turned into one person going around the entire goddamn hospital with a pad of paper and a pen and writing down people's coffee orders for Starbucks. So not only are these people wasting five fucking dollars a day on Starbucks on these things that aren't coffee at all anymore. He's like, if you if you go on the website, what what the fuck is Starbucks anymore? Anyways, anymore like there's like fucking milkshakes and ice cream and shit. It's like how is this how did this become acceptable to have for breakfast? I just I just don't fucking understand it. And like uh anyways, back to it. This person would go around with a pen and paper, write down everyone's coffee order and take everyone's uh payment methods separate them into little baggies or whatever the fuck because everyone had a separate debit card. And uh, they'd be gone. For like, I don't know, fucking hour and a half, two hours getting these coffee orders and they'd come back with all the Starbucks and deliver it to everyone. And that's another thing. It's like, this person missed a quarter day of work to just fucking go get these milkshakes for these grown adults because they just wanted some fucking sugar or something. Nobody actually needed it. it was, it's just something to, like, jump on the bandwagon of, like... And everyone I've talked to about Starbucks fucking hates it. <laughs> like, uh, if you talk to, you know, like, quote-unquote coffee aficionados, they'll just say, like, oh, no, Starbucks doesn't have very good coffee. It's uh, McDonald's or Dunkin' Donuts or some Java blend from the Caribbean or some fucking shit. But you know what? They're still supporting the goddamn business model. They still go five times a week and order their goddamn mocha fuck-alls. I don't know. <sighs> it's, it's, it's so frustrating. And, like, it's pervaded, like, every other instance in my life. Like, um, I don't know. <sighs> Fucking, I just, I just don't get it. So I'm just, just tell me what, what it is about Starbucks. Like, why is there always a goddamn line out the door? Why are people so fixated on their goddamn milkshakes during the day? How do you have a milkshake Every goddamn day. And there's this thing that I have seen, that I have witnessed. Not only are you adding caramel to the top of your froth and milk and sugar, or whatever the fuck, like brownie chunks and shit, but sometimes people will say, give me a caramel wall. And if you're new to Starbucks, or if you've done this, God bless you. But uh, what it is, is you tilt the cup sideways and you drizzle caramel around the entire side of the cup. So it's like this caramel container 
for everything inside. It's it's just it's just nuts. It's just disgusting. And like you know what? I'm gonna say it. Fucking Starbucks is one of the reasons why we're all fat, probably. Fucking goddamn milkshakes every day. God, you people suck. All right, well, I guess that's it for my rant for now. Peace out, guys.